Well, um, it is just so sad that a lot of people believe that abs are bad for the vital organs in the body. It is only when indication of dosage are not written on the abs. The same way if you are asked to use 500 milligram of antibiotic, probably um, Ampiclos Bicham, and you use three or four of the same 500 milligram, that is 2000 milligram, you can land in the hospital. So now we are making sure that there is indication of dosage in all our product so that people can strictly adhere to dosage, which would not affect any of the organs in the, of the body. So what we do differently is just that, before we combine any roots, herbs and stem, we try to do toxicology reports to know the toxic states of each of the plants before we combine them together. This would afford us the opportunity to know what quantity to combine and how to get the dosage. And apart from that, we also do laboratory analysis. This analysis would give us in-depth knowledge into the composition of each of the plants. And that is what we are doing differently before we even approach NAVDAC. And now that we have gotten NAVDAC, we are also planning to do more and give the world the best abat therapy they could ever think of. Well, you know, when you talk about infertility, we have both male and female infertility. Whenever anybody comes to us, we tell them to go to the lab. Let them run a test. If it is a man, you do your SFA, laboratory uh, sperm analysis test. It is inside the sperm analysis test that will tell us the total morphology of the sperm cell. We we'll know the color, the shape, the count, and the motility rate. By knowing that, we we'll know what to use to boost the sperm. And when they do the sperm culture, it will tell us the kind of infection or what led to the low sperm count. So we also treat that too. That is the male infertility problem. But for the female, there are a lot of things that we consider. If the person has fibroid, if he has PID, pelvic inflammatory disease, that could lead to block fallopian tube. When the fallopian tubes are blocked, there could be sperm leakage. The sperm will flow out. There will not be thorough way for the sperm to pass from the vagina through the cervix to the uterus to the fallopian tube and to the ovary where fertilization would occur. So when we know all this, we know what to treat. We don't just attend to people that, okay, I want to treat infertility and we just give them something to use. No, we go through normal procedures so that they can always see results to any time they come to us for an answer. Now that we are a registered body, we'll be writing some universities now. Whenever they have students who are studying botany, who are studying biochemistry, microbiology, and other courses like that, they can come to our factory for internship. Some can come to our office. And we we'll also take students to train them for a year. It is a year program. We we'll train them. After training them, we we'll sort up a business model for them. We we'll open an online platform for them. How they can also produce and also sell by first understanding the tricks and how herbs work, because that is the most important thing. If they don't know how these plants work, they cannot produce an effective product. And when you're not giving people an effective product, you're damaging their health or you're just taking their money from them. But we want people who will actually know the nitty gritty, the in-depth knowledge of the herbal therapy so that they can give the world what they really need. Thank you. <laughs>